How's it going, Steve? Good. It's been such a long time since we've uh, we've yeah, had you, you on the boy. channel. I was here. just a boy and uh, had the 20 pound artillery shell that we took over here. And look at this, Steve's growing pineapples, and making resin chairs. Wow, you have it for the law, law enforcement dive team. Look at that, that is cool. I know a lot of you guys are watching this and probably going, Britain, you shouldn't be touching this thing. You should have left it where it is. It looks absolutely incredible. I'm so happy with the way it turned out. This is something buried here. Is it a shell? Conch shell? We can find anything. God bless you. I hope you find her, babe. It's been an amazing experience so far with Adventures with Purpose and many other friends that we have here. This is a knife. Definitely gonna get the license plate off and we're gonna notify the authorities. Nothing can hide from me. So important that this movement continues to grow. I really appreciate you being a part of it. In the depths of history. What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another brand new video of Depths of History. Today, I'm in Cartersville at the Etowah River. Way over there, there's a Civil War trestle bridge, and we're gonna be scuba diving to see what we can find. Last time I was actually at this particular spot, my friend Michael, AKA Nugget Noggin, he was able to find a cannonball underneath the bridge, and I think there's a potential for us to find more, but it's just such a historical place, man. I'm really excited to see what we can find here. I'm also with my friend Johnny today from the channel Georgia River Boys. I'm very excited. I, you know, we got this old bridge over here. Really excited about diving that. And then of course this city bridge. We're gonna find some stuff today. It's a beautiful day out on the river. I got my face mask and this is gonna allow you guys to see everything I can see underwater. I've also got my scuba tank. So hopefully I'll be able to stay in here for about an hour and 30 minutes or so, but I'm gonna get the mask on. Let's get in this water. Oh my gosh, can you believe this? That's so awesome. This is crazy. Look at this. That is insane. A cannonball from the Civil War. You still see where the fuse is. That's incredible. Look, you can even see the numbers. You can even see the numbers on it. I'm trying to be careful because there's a car up there. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna have to give Steve a call who, uh, he lives in Alabama. He can definitely defuse this. All right, now I'm gonna go further towards the old bridge. They just let the dam out. Wow. <laughs> That's crazy. Right when we get in, they start generating. At least we 
we got a little bit of time to dive though. I went way, way, way far over by the pillars. Made my way down, didn't find too much. Found that cannonball, which is incredible. But I'm hoping Johnny's okay. I don't really know where he is. I see him. <laughs> Dude, they just let the dam out. There's a lot of a lot of trees and stuff right here. Oh yeah, dude. I I got a bunch of stuff, but I feel like we really only got, whoa, 30 minutes here. Let's go, uh, let's go figure out how to transport. <laughs> I think, do, do you have a bucket in your car? I can put, a, put some water in it, put it in it. Okay. Right, so. That's crazy. Let's head up uh, let's head up there and uh, put the cannonball in a bucket of water. Alright, so I've got the bucket right now and basically what I'm going to do, I'm going to clean this out, I'm going to fill it up with some water and uh, we're gonna put the cannonball in here. It's been in the water for 150 years, so there's probably not a chance of it exploding. Uh, the, reason, the only reason I say this is there's a lot of cracks where the fuse is, and a lot of water can get in there and actually make the powder pretty wet. So I already called my buddy, Steve Phillips, who lives in Alabama, and if you guys don't remember, last time I found an artillery shell, it was a 20 pound artillery shell, and I took it over to Steve. He diffused it and made it basically look like new. So I think that's what we're gonna do with this one. I know a lot of you guys are watching this and probably going, Britain, you shouldn't be touching this thing. You should have left it where it is. With Civil War items like this, when it's in the water, um, it's basically just, I mean, a solid ball. So you really don't have much to worry about. All right, everybody. So this is the morning after I found this cannonball. We're about to leave right now in my truck to go all the way to Alabama to meet up with Steve Phillips and he's gonna actually defuse this cannonball and allow it to be in my collection. How's it going, Steve? Good. It's been such a long time since we've uh, we've yeah, had you, you on the boy. channel. I was here. just a boy and uh, had the 20 pound artillery shell that we took over here and and uh, we did the drill um, out in the shed over there. I mean, it's just, it's so funny coming back here because yeah, um, back there. I wasn't even a diver last time I was, uh, last time I saw you too. Usually the Confederate Bowman fuse sticks up higher than, than flat. And, okay. and usually you don't see any threads on the top of it, which this one. You see threads. Yeah, but it is but sticking up higher. Yeah, yeah. And you'll be able to tell more after you clean it and no. all. But this is going to clean up real nice. We're going to drill it opposite the fuse. You're going to drill it. Awesome. <laughs> I'm just letting you do everything. <laughs> Steve, is it okay to handle this, like me walking with this right now? Is this okay? You could throw that off an a Empire State Building. It wouldn't blow up. Just sit it down. Somewhere is because we got to get everything set up. Just set right. it in top yeah, of it. Set in that hole. Yeah, right there. Get this hard wire. All right. You're doing everything yourself. Yes, sir. All right. Hey. So this is a weight and it's gonna basically drag down. Right. 
fuse goes down. I want to touch the highest point. Okay, the, the highest point, so like right here? Yeah. Okay. We'll probably have to, we may have to sharpen these, which I can show you how to do that too. Okay. See that? Yeah, that's awesome. Just want a little bit of water, not much. And uh, we're ready to uh, start drilling. I thought I had let it off enough to actually be touching it, but I guess I didn't. Uh, we got right against here on the high point. We're gonna get it started while we're here. Just start we're here, drilling okay. in the powder or anything. So there's a, this is a safe time. Let's get it started while we're here. Let it drill a bit may be dull. We may have to uh, change it a little bit. Yeah. Okay, go untie it. Go untie it? All right. Let go. Let go? All right, hold it tight. All right. You're gonna listen for it to stop or hang up. Oh, just stop. All right, let go of it. <laughs> just keep listening. Okay. Let me know if it hangs up. Unplug it. Unplug it. Oh, right down there. Any any plug. Well, we've got started. I wanted to make sure it wasn't walking all over the place and making a big bad hole. Yeah. See, see the hole? Yeah, I see the hole. Yeah. All right. You're going to turn this and hold your hand over there, left hand, and you're going to lift it up where it will go in that hole. Turn the other oh, way. Oh, the other way. All right. And lift and get it back down in that hole. Okay. All right. <clears throat> Now, you get up there and uh, hold, hold it open. Okay. I'm going to untie this one. All right. Oh, you didn't unplug it. Okay. Come on back down here. Leave, leave it plugged in. I can't believe it, guys. We may have just diffused it. So after this, we're going to have to do electrolysis at home and put some gimplers on it. But I'm so excited, man. All right, Steve. So we got it uh, basically through it. It's been through the, um, the entire cannonball. You can see where the burr is on the bottom there. That's where it hung up. Yeah, you're going to need to boil this one up. Oh, yeah. Wow. Look at that, you guys. Look at all the black powder. Oh, my. Yeah. 
you're gonna use stainless steel, just fresh water and baking soda. And you wanna get a, a, a battery charger that's the old style, not the one that says automatic. If you get one amp current flow, then uh, that'll work and it might take you a day or two and it'll clean it as good as it's gonna do. You, you connect negative to positive. Positive will be hooked up on, on this, just a little lip. And the negative will be hooked up to your object and it's just gonna make it, the stuff on there just slough off. Just boil it in fresh water, yeah. change the water, boil it again. Change the water. Over a period of days. And if the water comes out clean, you're through. We've got everything set up right. Everything's uh, looking really good right now. Um, there are a lot of bubbles coming around the uh, cannonball. All right, everybody, so we're at the stove. As you can see, I'm boiling the cannonball. It just finished out of the electrolysis. Looked really nice. All the rust came off of it, but now we are burning the nitrates off. And as you can see, all of the gross gray liquid on top. Those are all nitrates and little air bubbles that are inside of the iron that need to come out. They can only come out with heat. Check that out. It's looking amazing so far. And uh, all the rust and everything is coming off of it nicely and all the nitrates seem to have came out of the cannonball. All right, so this is day two. We've got the cannonball in there right now. You can see all the bubbles and everything coming out. As you can see, it's definitely hit some rocks. You can see the damage on it, but part of it is very smooth. You can see where it's just rolled around the rocks some, and, and it definitely has some character for being at the bottom of the river. There's the hole where we diffused it. We're about to put uh, some of this Gimplers rust converter on the inside of it and we're going to shake it around we're making sure that it gets covered on every single part of the cannonball and then once it gets covered then we are going to coat it on the outside we're going to pour some of this gimplers in just a little bit enough to make a coat you can see we've completely coated it except for the fuse. I want the fuse to be um, its natural color once it dries out. It's gonna look really, really nice. I'm really excited to, uh, to see how this all turns out. So. We just finished the electrolysis and preservation on this Confederate cannonball. It looks absolutely incredible. I'm so happy with the way it turned out with the Gimplers rust converter. And obviously you can see we drilled it from the bottom. So all the powder is out of it. It is disarmed. So with that said, thank you so much for watching. Good luck. And we'll see you guys on the next one.